How's it going, you all? And welcome back to Eros. Multiverses will be in the center of the MCU for the foreseeable future as the future projects and the characters to appear are all connected to the idea of multiverses. For the first time, however, we have given an enormous amount of multiverse context in the new Loki series, and there is one less of conclusion we have gathered by watching the first episode. There cannot be any multiverses unless the TVA and the Timekeepers are active. Let's get in and explain. First episode of Loki aired last Wednesday and amongst three Marvel series we have seen so far, it is clearly the best and the one that will affect the future of the MCU the most. Kevin Feige also mentioned how the events in Loki will be crucial for the future series. What seems to make the most impact is the existence of TVA. Before watching the first episode and all the knowledge we had from the MCU so far, we thought multiverses already existed and the timeline we are in was one of the infinite timelines. We can 100% say that there was nothing to contradict this idea before the first episode of Loki. The new information we got changed all this. In the first episode, Loki is captured by the TVA Minutemen as he has committed crimes against the sacred timeline. After going through some process, he gets in a waiting room before his trial. In that room, Miss Minutes gives us a quick presentation about what TVA is. When she's explaining, we learn that before TVA was created, there was infinitely many multiverses and the universes were in constant war amongst each other. When things got out of hand, the timekeepers combined all existence into one and created the sacred timeline where they dictate all the events. They later created the TVA to make sure everything goes according to their plans. TVA is responsible for overseeing all actions of people and collect anyone who acts out of their predetermined path. As we saw in the episode, after collecting they reset the timeline so everything goes according to plan. All this information tells us that multiverses cannot exist as long as the TVA prevents it. However, we all know that there are many projects announced and unannounced in the MCU that will use the multiverses. Let's first talk about all the future projects that will or likely use the multiverses, then explain how TVA can stop functioning after the first season of Loki. The first MCU project that is built upon the idea of multiverses is What If. What If will be an animated TV show that will run for more than one season. The idea is to take an MCU movie and change one of its key aspects to see how it would turn out. What if Captain America was Peggy Carter? What if T'Challa was captured by Yandu, etc. The Watchers will be narrating the stories and all the stories will take in a multiverse. What if will take place this summer after Loki. Spider-Man No Way Home is rumored to introduce the Spider-Verse. Whether you want the Spider-Verse or not, it is impossible to deny the rumors of its potential introduction in No Way Home. Even if it's not introduced in No Way Home, we will see it in the MCU at one point or another. The cast of No Way Home already brings back villains such as Electro and Dr. Octopus that we have seen in other universes before which brings the rumors of the return of previous Spider-Man and their partners. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness literally guarantees the existence of the multiverses. The word madness is also crucial here as Miss Minutes uses the word madness in her presentation to describe the war amongst the multiverses. We know that Wanda Maximoff will play a crucial part in the movie and she's a nexus being, a title closely related to multiverses. We believe Loki can be directly related to the sequel of Doctor Strange. Loki has featured in the first three movies of Thor and we might see him in Love and Thunder as well. With our Loki dead, this Loki will have to use the multiverses to come back into existence. Also we should mention the rumors about Thor Jane Foster can be introduced from a multiverse. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania has multiverse written all over the place. Ant-Man's technology allowed the Avengers to travel through time to prevent the snap and brought the concept of multiverses. Quantumania will be focusing on the quantum realm and the multiverses. One of his biggest indications is the villain of the movie, Kang the Conqueror. One of the greatest Marvel villains is a nexus being just like Wanda. These are all the announced projects that might or will have multiverses, but there are many other theories that we can come up with regarding multiverses. There are many events and characters in Marvel comics 
that use the multiverses. One of the main events are the Secret Wars. Secret Wars is literally what Miss Minutes explained in her presentation. We believe if it is introduced into the MCU, it will be because the multiverses will be in war. With the announcement of the Fantastic Four movie, two of their famous villains are a part of the Secret Wars story in comics, Doctor Doom and Galactus. Titania is also a big character in Secret Wars, and as she is rumored to play a part in the She-Hulk series, we can get more information about Secret Wars there. There are many adaptations of Secret Wars outside the comics like in the Spider-Man TV series, and we are quite sure that the MCU will make it a big part of their new saga. Marvel can also use the multiverses to introduce many of the existing universes into the MCU. There are already many established universes and characters such as Venomverse and X-Men universe. We have mentioned how TVA has to be removed from the equation for multiverses to be used and we can also say it is hinted that it will be out of commission after Loki. Loki mentions many times how he is determining his own path and hates the idea of some divine power responsible with how things will turn out. We expect by the end of the series an event will cause the TVA to stop working. TVA might come to realization that forcing people to live one way is wrong. The villain Loki might destroy TVA. There are countless options, so we should see how things will turn out. Loki series gave us a lot to think about and offers tremendous potential. We will be back as we learn more about the multiverses and more. Until next time, be bros out.